What's up guys, Chris back at it again with another breakdown video for you. Today we are tackling craggy cliffs. So when you come to craggy, there's a couple different ways you can go about doing it. A lot of people tend to go towards the large building here. I don't know the actual name of it. Uh, sticks, I call it fishy sticks. You know, I just call it fishy sticks. What do you guys call it? Put in the comments what you guys call the actual little fish stick restaurant. So the first chest, if you land on this large building, is up here in this top portion of it. From here, you can break down. Come back towards the south side. Your second chest is gonna be sitting right here once you break down that from that top floor to the second location. From here, you can either head down the stairs, picking up the floor loot and stuff that I'm passing on the way. And then your next chest, sitting right here. So that's your third chest in the fish sticks, fishy sticks, again, I like to call it fishy sticks building. That's gonna be the only chest in this one, but do make sure when you're inside here to break these uh, slurp chug canisters. Give yourself some shield. There is a couple around. There were some upstairs as you saw as well. Make sure you pick up all the floor loot as well. And then I would say come through and break these guys up before you leave. You know, they give you a good amount of brick. They don't give you the 100. Again, we're in creative, so the numbers are very exaggerated. I do see a lot of people when they come to Craggy land at this house here. This wooden one at the top because it does keep high ground of the area. Me personally, I don't recommend landing at this house. I'll show you on the map real fast. There's this house right here. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't come to this house at all, but when you come in, you have a couple floor loot spawns, some ammo loot spawns. You know, again, maybe some more ammo, maybe some floor, some little bit more floor loot. But your only chest on this building is up at the top. And of course, if you pull a blue AR out of one, then it was a great, you know, little drop on it. But that's something that as your first house, unless it's a do or die situation, I wouldn't recommend coming to this wooden one at the top peak first, unless you're, you know, all alone here and it's the best way to go from top portion to lower portion. So me personally, when I come into Craggy, I like to land at either this house here or this house here. And I start on the roof location. So once I land on the roof, I break open on that one. And I have the first chest sitting here on the bed. So once you get the chest that's there, head on through the door, down the stairs. Your next chest is gonna basically be right below you on this luggage rack. So that's our second chest to this house, but our sixth chest total in Craggy. So once you get that chest, come down the stairs. And in this little bathroom, you have your third chest to this house but our seventh chest overall. So again, that house was this one right here. Again, that's one of my more favorite houses to land at. So I'll show you the next house, which is landing right here. So the good thing about these ones is you can usually come in right off the tip of the cliff without having any issues. Coming through that roof area, you have your first chest of this house sitting right there. Once you get that chest, break on down the floor next one sitting right here on the table so once you get this chest I'd recommend coming outside you can also break the floor from underneath you though come to the very bottom and through the butcher shop door you have your third chest of this house so that's our tenth chest total in craggy the fishy sticks location had three inside of it. The little wood house up top, again, it's kind of like a broken down abandoned house, which I wouldn't recommend being your first landing spot unless you have to, or unless no one's here and you're trying to work your way down into the main craggy area. Had one chest. The first home that I showed you is one of my favorite ones to land on, had three inside of it. And the one that we're inside now has three inside of it. So, so far, based on size, 
the last two houses that we just went through are the best two to land at because you have three chests and three chests but fishy sticks has the shield containers inside them the slurp containers so even though it's a larger building to have to cover you will get a lot more floor loot and the slurp containers so you know what i take that back guys these are not the two best to land at this one is here the fishy sticks building because of all the shield inside of it so if you make your way outside to the next building which is going to be this one here come through this garage area and i don't know if everyone knows about this my buddy just found about it the other day but if you break this down you have a chest thing inside here as well so once you grab that chest head through head up all the way to the top and sitting on the bed another chest sitting there for you and that was this house here that we just came out of so now we're going to make our way across to the building here so head into the building head up the stairs and then right above you when you get to the second story a chest sits right on the top area so that's the only chest that's in this building so you can head out head over to the one that sits directly next to it i'll show you it on the map this one here and inside here once you get in break this floor down there's your first chest for this building and then head down and there's one in the actual boat let's go ahead and break that down too so then that's two that's sitting inside this building here head outside directly over to this building here come through this location you got your next chest sitting right here for you now we're sitting in this building right over here right off the beach location so then head up the stairs it's located over here now you can build up to it or you can break the floor down you got your next chest sitting in right up here kind of tucked away and hidden for you once you grab that head back out head across the way because now you're at one of the upper levels make your way up the stairs as soon as you get to the top it's gonna be sitting right here in this one so you're gonna have to break it down also and there came your next chest right down there so now we are sitting here once we left the three houses here we came across to this home it had one chest came across to the boat launch house area it had two chests came onto the beach came to the other connecting part of the boat launch that had two chests in it as well and then we came up to this house here or factory building i don't really know but we had the one chest in it so then head out the next chest is going to be sitting inside of here right in the middle pallet again break it down there's your next chest so the last structure we need to tackle is the clock house it's right here on the map the actual chest that sits inside here is off the top floor as you can see here and bam that's the only chest that's sitting inside the clock tower house the problem with this one is when you're on the ground floor you're gonna have to build up to the roof to get to it and then you're gonna have to build a couple structures from there as well and that's craggy cliffs for you guys so again, I think the best building on here because the shield and everything that it has plus the three chests is fish sticks or fishy sticks or whatever you guys want to call it. Let me know in the comments what you call it. The house right here only has one chest to it. That's why I recommend not making that your first drop unless nobody's here with you. Or if you are coming in a solo game, you can make that and maybe dip out if you need to. Me personally, I like to come either this house here or this house. Both of the homes have three chests apiece to them. Then if you come down into basically the garage connector piece, if you break down that storage rack, it exposes the hole in the wall that has a chest hiding in there. Then you can head over to here and get your two chests that are in this house. Inside this building here, there was the one chest that sat basically the attic location. Best way to tackle it is to break the bottom of the floor from the second story. Or if you land on the roof, you can work your way in from the top. In this building here, we had two chests. One is you came in from the upper level uh, in the basically attic area as well, so you can break the floor out. 
and then the one that was inside the little canoe boat that was at the bottom portion. Inside this building here, we had the two chests as well. You had the one that was in the bottom, like, uh, boxing storage location, and then the one that was on the top portion. Wouldn't it really be an attic, I guess. It'd kind of be more like a storage top roof area, but we had to build up to that. Then in this building here, you had the one chest as well that we broke the floor out of to get to it. In this building as well, another one chest that was sitting in the middle location. So remember, if you're going to break it down from the floor, you have to come into the middle part to break it down. Then the tower, clock tower house, whatever you want to call it, had the one chest in it as well. The easiest access to it is if you land on the point and work your way down to it. Other option is to build up onto the roof and then come about to where the window section is, is where that chest is going to sit. So remember, it only had one chest in it though. One chest in there. One chest in here. One chest in that building. And then one chest in this building. So those five buildings may not be the ideal ones to first land at. But again, in a game where it's all about getting the weapons, you got to land where you got to land, guys. I understand that. But more condensed areas with more chests. This house had three. This house had three. Between the garage and this house, there was three. And then... Fishy Sticks has three as well, plus all of the slurp containers. This little boat warehouse factory area had two. And this one had two as well. And then also there can be some fishing spots that are down on the bottom location. You do have a campfire that sits over on the outside of this house. And then you have a campfire down by the beach. So good areas to have to heal up. Yeah, but a lot of floor loot, a lot of area to harvest for wood, metal, brick because of the boulders so yeah craggy's a really good place to land as a squad uh, duos even your solos it can get busy and it more likely will get busy unless it's off the bus line guys um, but again that's why i make these videos for you i want you to know what house you want to tackle i want to show you where the chests are so as soon as you land in it or in a building or on the outside if you're making a you know short drop where you need to basically beeline to or where you need to start first that's what all these are designed to do is to help you guys have the best path for success and be able to make it out of these locations alive. So guys, that's it for our breakdown of Craggy Cliffs. Thanks for watching the video. Please make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to make sure you are informed when any of my new POI breakdown videos are done or some of my squad tournament videos that I post on here as well. Drop a like on the video, share the video, let your friends know about the channel. Because just like any location, we don't all know them 100%. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. I'm trying to show you guys where 100% of the things are. Because we are at a 100% chest spawn rate. So every chest I show you, it will be there. So guys, thanks for joining me on another one. And as always, don't get lost to the storm.